Hi guys, welcome to Big Laws Official and today we're going to have a look at the up and coming Giants Live World Tour Finals up in Manchester. Uh, just very quickly, a few people are wondering if I'm competing this weekend or if I'm going to be there. Um, unfortunately I won't be. I uh, pulled out about a month and a half ago um, after the Ultimate Strongman, um, UK Strongest Man. Uh, picked up a, a kind of weird ab injury doing some bar bending. Um, and although I'm, I'm kind of at 80%, I don't feel it's very respectful to the calibre of guys competing and to myself to go in at 80% against pretty much, you know, some of the strongest men on the planet. I would only be disappointed in my own performance. Um, and obviously I've got the competition in Dubai coming up in a few months and I feel I can get myself in good shape for that. Whereas this would just be a knockback. It would probably knock my confidence and also just risk making things worse. So I'm still training. I'm kind of building up slowly, but when you compete, you sort of go at hundred percent. Um, right now I'm kind of controlling what I do in the gym and I'm feeling how my body is and I can kind of monitor it but obviously when you compete against the best guys it's time to go flat out and, and that's when you can sort of injure things again and make things worse so I, I'm just not ready to compete um, at this level um, and with the lineup you know it's such a, a great lineup I'd be disappointed to go there and underperform so I'm holding back waiting for the contest in Dubai but um, it's still going to be a fantastic show. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing the results on the axle. That's the first event that we've got. I'll quickly run through the athletes and the events for you guys. So it's an awesome lineup. You've got Belsack, Tom Stockman, Ian Bibby, Shivlikov, who's just you know great to watch. Everyone loves Shiv. Adam Bishop, um, he's looking strong again. Been training hard for this. Johan Els, new guy from South Africa, really really strong guy. Performed really well at World's Strongest Man this year. Um, Kielkowski, who's just unbelievable, obviously everyone's kind of seen him over the last few years and, you know, he's just an unbelievable athlete. Everyone's favourite, Mr. Mark Felix, the legend still going at 52 years old. Martins Lissis, unbelievable athlete and someone I think has got an awesome chance of winning this show. Janasha, again, another big name, he's been on the podium a few times now in some major contests um, and I saw him a few weeks ago and he's just put on 20 kilos out of nowhere. He's just kind of looking absolutely huge and strong. Um, so the kind of heavy static events I'm expecting him to do really well at. And we all know how good he is at deadlifting anyway. Big Z, he's coming back. He won last year, shocked everyone after he's had like a, probably a couple of years of not doing so well. But um, you can never count out Zadrunas. He's, you know, in my opinion, the greatest ever. He's not, you know, the Zadrunas that he used to be. And obviously the standards kind of got better all around now. But he's still very, very dangerous and capable of, um, you know, getting another win. And then finally, Vatitis Lalas is competing. Um, just off the back of winning the World Team Championships with his brother. He looked in great form at that. So you can see how strong the lineup is. It's very, very good. Uh, it's going to be a close competition, I think, between a few guys. Um, let's look at the events before I kind of put a prediction in to who I think will win. But um, the first event is Axel for Max. And this is obviously going to be a big event for Iron Bibby. His pressing power is just ridiculous. You know, we've seen what he can do over the last couple of years. Um, everyone's seen his videos on the gym, uh, in the gym. He went out to do some promotional work in Dubai and was just apparently just pressed 200 kilos without even warming up. Just kind of got under the bar, 200 kilos <laughs> and pressed it, which is just absolutely insane. I remember being young, well, not pressing 200 kilos, but being able to go up to maybe a, a, a heavy deadlift and just pull without warming up, whereas now... It'll take me a good half an hour just to kind of foam roll and mo do all my mobility stuff and, and get ready and then just go through the weights. But um, yeah, to be young again would be nice. Um, the Axel, I think Iron Bibby is the kind of main man that's got a chance of breaking Eddie's world record on that. Obviously Big Z as well, actually. Big Z is, a, you know, in his prime, was unbelievable on the Axel. Um, I think one year at the Arnold's, they had a 208 kilo Axel and he just made it look easy. You know, he was doing reps with that. Um, and he, he, you can never count out Zadrinus on, on an overhead event, um, or any event really, but particularly overhead. He's had the world record in, in every overhead there is, and he still holds the, the log world record. Um, so I think it's going to be a good battle between those two guys. Um, behind those guys, I can see Belsack's always good overhead. Um, Kilkowski, obviously, that guy is just you know a monster in, in everything. Um, and Lysis. And Janasha as well, actually. <laughs> There's just so many good guys. Um, and even Lalas, he, he's capable of getting, you know, 200 kilos on an axle. 
Uh, it just depends what kind of shape people come in at. But I think the two main guys to watch on the axle will be Iron Bibby and Zadrinus Saviscus. Second event is the car walk. 450 kilo car walk. Same car that they've used now for a few years at Europe's Strongest Man. Um, obviously, I'd like to have a go at that. Um, currently the world record holder. Uh, but Kilkowski got close at Europe's this year. So I expect him to do very, very well. He's got a great chance of, of winning that event. And another guy to look out for on, on moving events like that is Iron Bibby. He's genuinely very, very quick, uh, very strong. And um, I don't know, I think he's been practicing on the kit as well. So that, that will make a big difference. But um, those two are the guys to watch on the car walk. Next event is the Axel Deadlift for Reps. Um, Axel bar for reps, it's much harder than a normal kind of deadlift bar that flexes a lot. There's no flex in an axle bar, so it's much, much harder to break the weight off the floor. Uh, you, can't, you don't tend to see people lifting quite as much in terms of weights that they would on a normal bar, but the same guys are going to win. You know, if they're power, particularly if they're powerful off the floor, they can really generate that power and keep that form, keep pulling hard. Um, this is his deadlift just keeps improving all the time. He's, I really kind of enjoy watching his videos online and his kind of training philosophies. He's a smart kid and, you know, he just seems to be getting stronger all the time. Um, Janasha as well. Janasha's just, you know, a machine when it comes to deadlifting. And hopefully if he's coming in in good shape, Mark Felix, that could be an event for him to pick up some points. Um, Felix has always been a great deadlifter, particularly for reps. Um, and I think hopefully he can put in a good performance, get some points. And um, definitely those three are the guys to watch. Um, saying that, Lalas put in a great performance on the deadlift at Europe's Strongest Man on the axle. He keeps his form really tight and, you know, he, he managed a good performance there. So I think he was actually second or, or joint second on the, the deadlift. So those are the guys to watch on the deadlift. And the deadlift could be the one event that costs Kilkowski. As good as he is all round, he's an unbelievable athlete. Seems to be that the deadlift, with so many good deadlifters competing in every competition, is the one event that kind of costs him winning a lot of shows. I think if his deadlift was a bit better, he would have won a number of shows already. But um, he's improving it, and you know we'll see what kind of shape he comes in at. The next event is the medley, which is a duck walk into a chain drag. Um, good chance to you know mix things up, really. This kind of event, you never really know with a medley. Um, it's easy to make mistakes, and it's quite a short medley. It's just a duck walk into the chain drag, so it's not like a... It's not where kind of conditioning becomes so important. It's just about doing it quickly. You know, Adam Bishop's always good at medleys. Johan Els, Kilkowski. Um, you know, maybe this is the kind of event that might cost someone like Iron Bibby and Janasha who have put on so much size and maybe they're, they're just not quite quick enough to keep up with some of the, some of the quicker guys. Um, Lissis is always quick. Um, Lalas is fast as well. He's always fast at these type of things. So it'll be interesting to see how heavy it is firstly and how hard the chain drag. I think if this is like a real sprint, could be anyone's. If it's much, much heavier, if the chain's really heavy, then it can tend to favour the bigger, stronger guys. But I'm not sure on the weights of it. So, And it depends. Something like a chain, you can do the chain inside on perfectly smooth surface and it'll just fly. Whereas outside on a bit rougher kind of ground, it can be a lot harder. So the surface can also dictate things like that. So it depends, um, you know, it's going to be indoors. It's going to move. I, I think it will move fairly easy. And then the final event is the Atlas Stones. Uh, five stones. Everyone's good at stones. What happens with stones is who's doing well in the competition going into the stones will dictate who's going to perform well. I mean, Tom Stoltman's a great stone lifter. Um, you know, he, he's been showing some big videos but you've got some, some awesome stone lifters in there. Lissis is unbelievable at stones. Kilkowski's very, very good at stones. Um, you know, all these guys are good at stones. I know for myself when I'm competing, if I'm in a position where I've got a good chance of hitting the podium or winning, my stones will be good. If I'm kind of not in the contest and you're sort of drifting back, motivation isn't quite there. You tend to, to not push it so hard. So when it comes to that last event and when it's stones, <laughs> it's really hard to predict who will do when. Well, I've, I've been kind of first on stones and I've kind of come last on stones before, depending on when you go into them. And, you know, everyone will be, everyone who's within a shout of like top three, top five, they'll be pushing hard. Um, whereas the guys that kind of have drifted off, maybe they'll just be like, I just want to get through the contest. And, you know, there's so many big shows now. A lot of the guys have got more shows coming up. So they'll probably look and see how their bodies are feeling, whether it's worth the kind of risk of pushing hard and trying to get onto the podium or... Is it better to save their energy? So, with all that being said, who do I think is going to come out on top? Um, 
it's a really close lineup. There's no kind of massively heavy favourite, like if you've got like a Thor in there or, or a Brian Shaw or something like that. Um, but with the events, I think consistency is going to be very, very important. And I think someone like Lissis, he's just going to constantly be there in the top few places. He might not win every event, but he's going to constantly be top three, top four. Um, Kilkowski, he could potentially, you know, there's events there he can definitely win. I just feel maybe that deadlift might cost him the, the overall win. He can definitely get on the podium. Um, Zadrunas, you can never count out. Iron Bibby's, you know, is, is he going to step up now and show what he's capable of? He's definitely capable of winning the axle. He's capable of winning the car walk. Again, how, how much has his deadlift improved? Will a kind of sprinty kind of medley cost him being as big as he is? Um, we, we, we'll have to wait and see. But I'm going to put my money on Lissis. I've got a lot of respect for that guy. Really kind of admire the way he trains and the improvements that we've seen in him over the last few years. Um, I think it could be his time to, to get the win. Uh, with Kilkowski, Janasha and maybe Zadrunas and I and Bibby all pushing hard to, to get onto the podium. We'll see what happens. I'll do a little video after and see if I'm right. Um, let us know who you think is going to win, what events you're looking forward to seeing. Comment down below. Uh, please like and share and subscribe to the channel, guys. Um, and yeah, just let me know who you think is going to win. Uh, I'm going to do another video very, very soon on my next competition, which is the beasts in the Middle East, in Dubai. I uh, can't wait for that. So come back and watch that, but I will see you guys soon.